How's it going, my friends? My name is Roger Wanda. And welcome to Under Hell. It's a Half Life 2 mod. I start. I wanted to play a horror game for you guys. Whatever, man. And this is a real good one. Hey, why are you such a douche with it? Hey, he wanted to come here and work with me. I never asked him. In fact, I didn't want him to come. And just so you guys know, this is not the beginning of a mod. And this is not a mod review. I just want to play a horror game. If you're getting masked, why are we getting masked? We got rights too, you know. And the horror's you about to start in a minute. To or a few. You apply that. No, wait a minute. He's right. I've already lost two of my crew. Why aren't we getting any mad? Yo, back off, man. Oh shit. This is not good. Seriously. This is a prison, <laughs> not a concentration camp. <laughs> what the hell? Wow. You're just gonna let it die one by one? Alright. If any one of you makes one more step, I'm gonna raise my beating quota by 50. Really? What the hell is going on here? Hello. Terry, I got this man. It's all good. You didn't have shit, man. We were gonna get beat up. Dude, you gotta trust me sometime. <laughs> Tyrone, what do you think you're doing? Terry, man, I ain't doing nothing. I was just asking why we don't get any masks. You'll get your masks next week. I ordered them myself. The warden doesn't want to hear one word about this. I personally purchased all the masks that we're wearing, and I plan to do the same for you. But money doesn't fall out of the sky, and these things take time. Now, I saw what you were doing, and that is not the right way to ask for something. Thank you, by the way, for the mask. Well, if we'd asked nicely, you wouldn't have showed up. Everyone back to yourselves! What? But we still have an hour of walking time. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you'll think twice next time you go to start a riot. <laughs> Come on, my <coughs> Sorry. Call it in. Attention to all inmates in the south wing. Walking time is now over. Please proceed to your cells in an orderly fashion. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys much about this mod because you guys should go play it yourself. This is a really good mod. All I can say is there are three stories going on and they all combine into one like there are three stories going on within the campaign and they all combine into one this is campaign three the longest campaign in the game damn it broken AI well, I can't blame him. You can go see Tyrone. Thanks to him, I'll be able to watch all the 30 games tonight. So yeah, keep it up, Tyrone. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry if I cough, I'm a little sick of a sore throat. But yeah, this is a real good one, and I do kind of recommend it. Honestly... Just look it up. Just look up Half-Life 2 mods under hell. And it does require some stuff from Steam, so just go to library and click on tools and just get, like, Source 2007 and some more stuff. And let the horror begin! Oh, just so you guys know, I'm also playing this in Windows mode, so I can actually see how long I've been recording, because it's becoming a small hassle to tell, to see if I'm re actually recording or not, because for having a couple times, for damn it, because many people died. I held you responsible for this. I was I'm just gonna make sure you go straight to hell for what you did. I was just doing my job, dude. What do you Take him away. By the way, it's currently 6 a.m. I did not sleep at all last night. I'm not even joking. Like, not at all. I've been up all night. I've just been lying in bed for hours 
way to sleep if that never happened until so, like hit 5 a.m. And then I was like, you know crap, I'm just getting up. And I didn't care because I'm home alone. Like, it's just me was in my house right now. And now I'm literally in my house. But it feels back, but it feels back, blah. But it feels backwards, kinda. It is backwards. Staircase should be around here somewhere. Because one of the campaigns is your house. Literally, just your house is part of a campaign. A very important part of a campaign, too. But yeah, that's the most confusing part of that campaign. When I heard it coming, I must start hiding. Aw, oh, shit. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I can't fucking see. Oh shit, shit, shit. Wow, I'm actually kind of scared. Like, this thing gets your blood pressure going, not even joking. Hello? Burnt man? You know what? It's like, no, I might be wrong about how many campaigns there are. Like, this thing is so confusing, but it's that very good confusing. There's, there's like three to four campaigns. Like, there's campaign one, your house, your dreams, and the campaign we were just previously playing. And it's all tied into one. A ve and it's kind of confusing. And I have played this before. I was going to record this as a let's play and upload it along with Half-Life. Because I recorded the entire Half-Life series. And it is... There's just so, I've literally recorded the entire series from Half-Life, Half-Life Opposing Force, Blue Shift, Half-Life 2, Episode 1 and episode 2. I recorded all of that. Except for that one that came out for the console. I don't own that one, nor do I own the capture card. Oh, hello. Oh, shit. I'm back here. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, god damn it. Don't be a dick. Alright. Red light, green light, red light, green light. I think I'm breaking the rules of this game. But I, honestly, I don't really care. They open anyway. And we're back to the last campaign. Which is the longest, but the, I guess even the most funnest, because that's action horror right there. Welcome to action horror. And I just want to play a horror game for you guys. So this. This one... I remember when I first started this. Uh, I just want to do something quickly. I. And we just keep that at least at a decent place. How do I get in there? Music? Hello, Apple. What's going on? I need to find a way out. 
Hello? Huh. <coughs> Sorry. You know what? I don't really remember what I'm supposed to do here. Even though I played this very recently, this is a long campaign. Damn it. Just kind of open. Alright, it doesn't show if it came in my inventory, so that doesn't really help me. Oh, wait. Doors open, I need to be careful. Shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. You guys don't know what that is, but trust me, you don't want to know. Well, you will know anyway, but right now, I just want to play it a little bit safe. Hello? Can't you tell? It's a fucking zombie! Fuck off. Something? You don't sound happy. <coughs> Crap, sorry. Remember, once again, I am sick. Alright. Shit. Flashlight is just to at least let you know which way he's looking at first. Shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck off. Wait, don't I have a sprint meter? I can't fucking tell. I fucking hate windows. <laughs> God damn it. I wish it was... I wish I recorded this, started recording this earlier, but in order for me to get here, I had to, like, go through a half an hour of a campaign just to get here. And that's just by skipping a chapter. Uh. Can you please fuck off? I remember when I first played this, that guy did not fuck off for a while. Fuck! Honestly, fuck off! <coughs> I need to keep that food bar up. It's only, like, it's ne nearly gone, it nearly reached the bottom, but, like, it was, it's kind of like when your car's on E, like, you won't have so much fuel left. Like, your car could die at any moment. That's what that was like when that happened to me, but honestly, I have no idea what happens once your food meter goes completely down. You f motherfucker! Just fuck off! It doesn't help that I don't have a fucking flashlight. God damn it! Fucking zombie! He does not fuck off! Fuck off! It's fucking 6 a.m. and I'm. I'm surprisingly wide awake! Even though I stayed up all fucking night! I'm not even joking, I. 
joking, I am wide awake, and I was up all night. Yet again, I guess a hot shower does help you wake up a little bit. And the world's most unhealthiest breakfast. Other than the all fruit energy drink. All I had today for breakfast was a healthy energy drink and a box of spicy Cheez Its. God damn it, he's not he's not fucking off. Motherfucker! He does not fucking leave! How long have I been in this fucking locker? He does not fuck off. God damn it. Yeah, go away. I'm probably going to upload this later today. I already passed the limit. My friend said I should stop doing, re stop recording. My friend suggests doing 15-minute videos, but if I'm going to do something like this, and if I'm going to get stuck like this, I'm going to have it be a little longer. At least a little longer will make it a little bit more decent instead of me hiding a fucking locker all episode. Oh my fucking god, he does not fuck off. I think I see him. There he is. God fucking damn it. He did not fuck off. I wish I can just peek out. Wait, where'd he go? Shit, shit, shit. No, no, no. Please help me, please help me, please. No! No! Oh, oh fuck. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I'm fucking trapped now. Alright. I see a flash. Oh, wait. Can I get Wait a minute. I remember now. I need to get away from him, though. Yes, yes, yes. Get stuck in that. Fucking animation! Fuck you! Fuck. Shit. Shit. Oh, how did I die? Help me! Eh. Yeah. Where's the fuck? There's the door. No. Damn it! Alright. Shit, shit. Thank God. Ah. Uh. Oh shit, I see supplies. I'm glad Z works now. But why doesn't Q? Well, Q actually makes sense. Why that doesn't work right now. Alright, did he fuck off? Do me a small favor in doing that. Alright. Got some good survival stuff already. Infirmary. I know you can't really tell right now. You're going to meet him later. But trust me, there's a guy you are going to meet and you are going to like. Well, he, he was mentioned earlier, but I was recording when he was mentioned. Showers, lockers. And you go by the lockers. I don't want to use my fucking flashlight. Ooh, I need to be careful if I walk on that. 
Especially don't fucking jump. Alright, there's a light at least. If I can f keep on finding light up corridors, then I'll be fine. And I'm free! What the fuck? Ow. Hello, Hermit. You know, you're the first person I've talked to in months. Huh. Hell, maybe even weeks. Man, how how did you get a mask? Oh, wait, you probably just stole it. So how are you, Hermit? I need to take a break anyway. There's no way I can work when someone who's not wearing the um <coughs> required equipment is around. Oh, alright. You get sick, you know. I use a lot of those cleaning products and a bunch of shit that's not good for your eyes or your nose. You get cancer, you know. I read that in the magazine. I have no idea what you're talking about, but thank you, crazy old hermit. Grab you. And save. Huh. <coughs> what do that for? I picked up that old sign in the trash. Thought it'd be good decoration. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to ruin your decorations. My breaks are boring now. Yeah. I used to do magic tricks with cards or play solitaire. But a damn rat chewed my <coughs> cards. Can you believe it? Of all the things he could chew, he decided to go through my card deck. I know, I hate now when they fucking do that. My break is just bang my little pipe against a bigger pipe and that pipe? try to match the echo. It's fun. Oh, it, it's fun. But solitaire is just way more fun to me. Yeah, I, Only I understand. Only bring me that new card deck. But I heard he passed away. Oh, sad. Hey. I wonder how he died. You could bring me a new car deck. Yeah, I probably could. Tell you what. See that vent right there? Y yeah. Well, there's no way you're gonna open it without the proper tools. For the past days, I've been changing the old rusty vents with these new air filter titanium vents. They're just unbreakable. Really? The only way to get past them is to unscrew the four bolts on the edges. And for that, you need a little wrench that I might right. just happen to have in my toolbox. <laughs> So tell you what, bring me some cards, and I'll give you that wrench. All right. You can open those vents. Trust me, it'll make your life a whole lot easier. Good. Now look, I've been wanting to pull off this card five. trick, but I need Sammy, five cards to make it work. Huh. All right. You can bring me five cards. Sorry. I'll give you that wrench. You can bring me the rest later. Alright. <coughs> Sorry. So start counting. Alright. You're a nice guy. Oh, let me add to your decorations. There you go. I'm gonna find you a fucking card. Trust me, finding cards for this guy. See ya. Finding cards for this guy is actually a good idea. I didn't really pay attention to him at first. But now that I actually know that. That is very useful information because he gave me stuff later on that I could have used. But first, I need to go get some revenge. And like that, I'm good. This model also has great soundtrack. And I can kick. Whoa! Where the fuck did you come from? Playing God. All right. Pick up. This is a survival horror game. In case I didn't say it. All right. Enough. Uh, that's for a kitchen key. Mitch has them. Has those. Who the hell is Mitch? I don't exactly want to open that yet. 
Well, I do, but I want to do some quick exploring. Like I said, those cards are important. Well, the hermit said. That's what. How many fucking zombies? First, there was one. Wait, that one has armor. Fuck you. Alright. Alright. Um, you guys can read that. Sorry for wasting your guess. This is time, but... What do you like to see me get scared, though? Is it a point of me playing a horror game? Anything in here? Trying really hard not to cough right now. I really need to. Come on, fella! I'm making noise! What the hell? <laughs> that fucking sounds like a gun. You know what I mean. Alright, no more fucking round. Alright, I and I need to eat something. <coughs> I don't. It doesn't need to be full, I just don't want it to be low. And this right here is possibly the most annoying pot. God damn it. Come here. Come into the light. Come here so I can fucking hit you. Oh shit. Okay, it's just a prisoner zombie. Way easier to kill. Uh. Alright. Supplies. Uh. I can rest my battery for a little bit. Hello, God. Two out of five. There's five cars in this area. It's not that big of an area, but it's still quite large. The locker I could hide in if I wanted to. And door's fucking locked. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to record an hour video. Fuck it. You guys get an hour of entertainment. Nothing but entertainment of Retromon. Alright. Check my corners and look at the map. I am here. So. West, West Wing Access. High Security Block. That's where the Warden's office is. Why would the warden mean have his office in high security area? Damn it. Oh, wait, I just remembered. Fucking card, 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 card. Oh, well, you guys can read that. Uh, I cannot wait for Monday. It. Close you. God damn it. Locked. It's ain't important. Oh, I'm just going towards something, possibly. Damn it. He said I need at least five. I get scared of having that fucking door open. Yeah, I forgot about these lockers. 
Hello, beauty. Yes. Wait a minute. Just remember something. A fucking warden. No, oh, that's not a fucking warden. Oh, that broke. Yes. Hopefully there are no more fucking zombies in here. Alright. What about he says 2003? That's not even this game's correct date. Like, this game kind of takes place in present day. Kind of. Well, present day 20... Around the time this mod came out. Oh, wait, hey, was there a box around here? Yeah, there was a box over here. I think. Yeah, there's a box up here. <coughs> Sorry. Damn it. Wait a minute. Hmm. Alright. I have a case for the warden's office. High security block win. Alright. Go down here quickly. I think it was just a med area, if I remember correctly. Damn it. Medical supplies. useful. Yeah, that was a med bay. Security. I don't think I've actually been to security. Oh, that leaves me back here. I'm taking my fin and going backwards. Now watch as I back into a zombie. Food thing's getting pretty low. Alright, I'm actually going to face forward this time. Hello? Any zombie home? Don't I claw marks? Bandages. I'm gonna be good on health items for a while. Security camera. He's off though. Damn it. Yeah, I think you'll be able to open the door from the other side. Damn it. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, wait. And yes, I'm aware I forgot that, that one thing. But honestly, I just don't care. <laughs> Fucking damn it. That's the first time I actually got cut in this game by glass. Huh. 
damn it. I shouldn't be that surprised. Anything in here? No, not yet. Alright, Moore's office should be back here. And the door's already fucking open. Alright. Oh, loading. Currently 6.40 and I'm 35 minutes in. Twenty for maximum. Yeah, twenty for maximum you can have. Hmm. That's probably a smart idea. Stop any stop any roamers from finding you. You know, the ones that roam around. Do the zombies roam around this game? I know that one kind of did. Aha, uh -huh, you can't get through here. You can't get through. Ha uh ha. -huh. Ah, damn it. That's the door I need to fucking open. Come on, do that breaking Gmod glitch where your hands show through the fucking door wall. Fuck. Eh. It's just one zombie. Hey, big guy. Well, how did he go? Fuck. I found that. I'm back where I started. Alright, the warden's office should be somewhere around here. Alright. Gone to West Block. Well, good thing I was already in West Block. Keep the safe behind my boat. If I ever forget the code, all I got to do is duck. How does that mean? Huh. Vent. Boat. There's the boat. Okay, all he has to do is duck. I'm the warden, so where the fuck would I be ducking to look at? Come on. Damn it, I thought I could have a card under it or something. Oh, wait, hello, apple! Food! Yes! All five cards! Uh, where the fuck would I be? Wait a minute. I'm right here. All I need to do is duck. Four, five, two, four, five, two, eight. back here though. 
That's one of those events. Alright, I got five keys. That's all I need. Um, is this door unlocked? It is unlocked. Alright, I need to watch out for a flashlight. I would scavenge, but that's too risky. Shut this. Got five keys. You talked about Hermit. Hermit for Frog. Hmm. Alright, here. Alright, got the keys for the kitchen, but. I should probably go give the cards to that guy. Alright, all the zombies should be on the other side of that. Most of the zombies should be behind that gate. I'm trying really hard not to go off. Yeah, this way's a shortcut, actually. Damn it! Fuck any tricky jumps. Alright. I should probably eat. Yeah, I definitely should eat. Laundry. Yeah, I've used near the laundry area. Yeah, this is it. Hello, pal. I get you your cards. You found five cards. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> and that is a nice deck you got here. Thanks. Give me, give me. Nah. Now to practice that trick. Yay. I think I owe you something, boy. Yeah. I keep my promise. Let me just get that hammer for you. Wait, hammer? You use a hammer oh, for that? Wait. Was it a hammer or a screwdriver? Um, that doesn't really what look like a screw. Anyway? I mean, what do you um. need pliers for? <laughs> no sense of humor. You uh. got no sense of humor. Wait, were you trying to be funny? I thought you were being all serious. Right, all right, Here's what I promised you. Oh, you were joking with me. Yeah, oh, shit. Hey, see that vent with the four little bolts on the edges? All you gotta do is unscrew them. Once all four are out, the vent should just fall. You should be able to get through. Alright. Now back to that magic. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Hermit. Oh, shit. Keeping count. Now wait. I can't do that shit with five cards. That's just stupid. I guess oh, you well. don't need me. I gotta go anyway. Duty call. Some yeah. nasty stuff to clean. Some ugly vermin to kill. Some chocolate bars to take. <laughs> some smokes to uh, uh, well smoke. You know the usual. All right. I do cool. hope our paths will cross again. So do I. Thanks for bringing those cards. You're welcome. All right. I'll just see you when I see you. All right. Not too early, not too late. All right. I'll catch you on the flip side. C catch you later, pal. All right, I'll be seeing you soon. God damn it. You d yeah, he's actually done. All right, got the kitchen keys. Don't know if that's actually gonna work. So I'll try though. Why do I keep on taking fucking 
food. Show on my fucking inventory. Actually, I say it's half and half. Alright. Making some progress. Oh shit. The chef. Look dude, I'm sorry if I've screwed you over with your 20 year contract, but I have nothing to do for about it. I have nothing to do for it. I'm just a prisoner. That's a big knife you got, sir. Be nice. Shit, shit, shit. Haha, <laughs> dumbass. Fuck. Come on, big pal. Come on, big guy. Come on. Haha, <laughs> got you. Oh, I got lucky for keys. Ooh, sandwich. Yeah, that's way too dangerous. Heck, I think it was even dangerous to just do that. Well, there goes my only weapon to protect me. Well, at least I can progress. Get moving. All right. Um. Sorry about this, but we're good. Full battery. Even though I just wasted the battery on it. I need a fucking map. I have no map for up here. Ah, shit. Oh, shit. I got a smart zombie. Fuck, 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 fuck. Door, 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 door. Oh, shit. Ow. Oh, hey. Who the hell are you? Who are you? We shoot him. Really? What, what, what did I do? Oh, yeah? How do you know? I don't, but he hasn't gone for us yet. Look at him. Does he look like the others to you? No, he doesn't, but hell. Have you ever seen a crazy dude eating another crazy dude? <laughs> <laughs> what a vampire crap already. He wasn't eating him. He was biting his jugular. It's a primitive reflex to quickly take down your opponent. What about I show really? you a primitive reflex? Oi, calm down. Why don't you calm down, Terry? You don't get to tell Hey, you Brian. What to do. Oh yeah, and why is that? One, Junior, I am still chief of security. <laughs> Two, I know this place. Take that, Alex. Three, fucking Junior. I was in the Falklands when you were still wet in the fucking bay. <laughs> I know this place like the back of my hand, <laughs> and I'm saying now that if we want to get out of here alive, we've got to work as a team because we're at the bottom floor of a five-story underground complex. Yeah. Where supposed to exist. Really? Nothing, Malcolm. Everything's fine. I'm letting you explain. Oh, he's still alive. Well, the more the merrier. Say hello to my behalf, will you? Right, oh, Malcolm. You stay safe. Malcolm says hello. I think you fucking heard. <laughs> oh, what now, Chief? All right. First off, let's introduce ourselves to the new boy. All right. Malky one, Ryan. And that's hey, Brian. Little brother, Junior. Hey, Junior. It's Matthew, Hector, and that's Takeo. 
Who? Computer genius over there is Benjamin. Hello. Just Hello. Just Ben, will you? As for the man over the radio, his name's Malcolm. He's also a security guard. He locked himself in the locker room over on the Eastern L wing. Apparently, he's the only survivor there. Really? Yeah, he probably ate all the others. Hey! Just ignore him, Ben. My name's Terrence. Haven't any of you seen a zombie movie? We're all security guards here, but I'm the most senior. I'm the only one that's worked on every single floor in this building. Huh. So, what's your name, lad? His name's Jake. Yeah. Oh, Jake, I'm surprised you've lasted this long on your own. Well, now that that's been taken care of, how about we focus on doing something to get out of this bloody place? Yeah. yeah right. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the electricity is not really working well right now. But it's not completely off either. Yeah. What's wrong with the lights, anyway? Reminds me of a military compound I worked at once. It had various power backup systems. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, GPS. But they're only testing it. It's not really ready for the market. Damn it. Not even for the military. What um, compound was that that you worked on? I don't know. When you work security, you don't ask questions. Do you know anything of what's going on here? That's true. They don't tell us anything. We're just supposed to keep the bad people in, the good people out, and protect all that's in between. So run them through the end. All of that's in between. Well, it's, it's very uh, simple. For big facilities. Oh, sorry, Matt. It's all right. Keep going. You know more about this stuff than I do. Right. For a simple generator, the system is one big grid, and the generator fills each of the grid squares with power equally. But when one square needs more power, all the others are equally reduced, which sometimes causes low tension or even completely cuts it off. So this is when the multi-generator comes in. Instead of creating one big grid, it creates one grid per generator, which fills all the squares the same way. The point is, all the generators yeah. work together, and if one square needs more power, only one of the multi-generators will give the missing power. And this generator is usually the biggest, but it's also the most unstable. Huh. Unstable how? Well, the reason they were still testing the system is because there's still problems. You see, the basic system worked with a series of five generators, four working to create the grids, and the fifth working to fill any greater demand. The problem is, if there's more power required than the fifth generator can provide, the other four try to help, which generally overdrives all the system and causes the fifth generator to crash. So if I get it, if the base <coughs> wants more power than it can have, the actual generator who gives this extra power just dies. Yeah. If you just die, it reboots, but it needs to be yeah. actually activated. If I'm correct, then right now only four generators are working. That's why the lights are weak and the doors to the core are impossible to open. If we could somehow manage to activate this fifth generator, then the base would be like before and we'd be able to hightail it out of here. <laughs> right. So let's do this. Yeah. Well, no, it won't be that easy. First, we need to find out where the generators um, are. Shit. To me. I know where they are. Oh, where yeah, good. That? They're underneath us. Under us? I, I thought we were at the bottom floor, man. What the? This base is bigger than we thought? I... Yeah, it is. The five floors of course it's bigger. The working base. The floors below are basically sewers. And the source of the drinking water. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. So, okay, right, okay, so, right, okay. We know the generator's below us, so yeah. how do we get there? Do we start digging from here, or what? No, you idiot. There's a proper way in. From where? From the core. So the question is, how do we get to the core with the power off? Oh my god, I'm so stupid! Ah! What? It's so obvious! What's Would obvious? Enlightening us? Right, yes, okay, please. Right, get this. The system gives power to the entire base right now, the doors included. So if we just lower the power demand, it might actually activate some of the unavailable parts. Ah. We just cut the power to the first floor. Right. How do we do that? Well, from what I know, there's power relays on each floor. Relays? Yeah, you mean the power relays. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Okay, there's three power rooms in the south wing and two in the north wing. Um, guys, that means we'll have to go to each block and turn off its power relay. Won't that turn off the lights? All right. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Ben, Terry, you stay here. You're too valuable to be at risk. Brian, you stay here to protect the place. Junior, Hector, Takeo, and the new guy, you're coming with me. All right. We're going to reset this place. Well, hold on. I ain't leaving without my brother. He's not going out there. Okay, Junior, you stay. But the others, let's go. Hold on, the power rooms are locked. I think I have a key around this. Hey, Baldy needs a gun. I suggest you pick up some gear, pal. Wait. All right. You're giving him a gun? We're not even sure we can trust him. I don't think killing us will do him any good. He needs us as much as we need him. He, he has a point, and I have no reason to kill you guys. And I'm not a bad guy. I was. F yeah, Matthew. This will open the power. Oh shit. And this one will open the ammunition. Oh hello. Damn it. All right. We'll stop.
stay yeah. in touch by radio. We'll split up into groups of two. I took your Hector, stuff. take the new guy. You are going to take care of the south wing. I'll take care of the north wing with Tokyo. We only have this radio post and two walkie-talkies. I recommend you hang on to them. Like I said, when you power down the relays, the lights will go out. Except the security lights. So remember to turn on your flashlight. And keep an eye out for batteries, too. Alright. Come in. Are you there? Yeah. What was that Man, about? I haven't well, we saw been someone in trouble in the video. So Brian opened the door to help him. He wasn't injured what? and didn't seem to know what was going Alex, on. So he Alex, damn it. Alex. I hate it when people out. call me Judy. Alright. Oh shit. What's up, man? As soon as you guys are done down there, meet us up in the north wing. You know how big that place is. Well, by any chance we're done before you guys, we'll meet you down there. Alright? Sounds good, man. Take care. Alright. You too. Wait, how did you guys survive up here with that crazy chef nearby? So, what's your story? You killed your wife and kids or something? They don't send you here unless you're a killer. Um, it's a very long story. It's all right. You don't have to talk to me. We don't have to be friends. We can be friends. Cover my ass, and I'll cover yours. I will cover your ass. Just give it to me. I'll give it a blanket. Keep it nice and warm. Oh wait. I can't see my keyboard. It's dark in here. It's 7 a.m. now. I think about it. Oh, thanks. But yeah, how did you guys survive up here with the, the crazy chef right nearby? Oh, hey. Uh, hold on. Let me open up. Hey, Alex. Alright, we're going to... But I heard something. There's probably a zombie nearby. Just relax, dude. They're dangerous, but they're not that dangerous. Block. Where's the power room there? It's in the control room at the far end of the high security block. Roger far that. end. So all the way down there. Alright. Man, I really hate this place. Eh, so far I kinda like it. It's not that bad. I used to be on a SWAT team. I was that stuff that was our we I was for a special unit that was used to take uh, on terrorists if it we're committing a terrorist attack. Thanks for the light, by the way. Yeah, let's go. Way on you. Probably does not have a good feeling about this. Alright, we're here. Any supplies? An extra battery. All right, you go ahead and turn the power off. I'll crack some lights around this place. All right. Pistol ammo. Am I full on pistol ammo? Huh. Can't really see how much ammo I even got. The fucking dock is covering it. You all right? God damn it. Oh, holy shit. Watch out. All the high security blocks are just open. They're running towards you. Barricade yourself in there. Oh shit. Did you get it? Barricades, barricades. Shoot through the windows. Fuck. These are bulletproof. They're everywhere. Jesus. Christ. Can you shoot from these? Oh, you can. <coughs> Sorry. Fucking flashlight. Let's get the hell out of here. This yeah. way. Yeah, let's go. Oh shit.
Oh, it's just, it's just his brother. Shit, shit, shit. Fuck, 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 I said I went ahead an hour, so I'm going to add an hour. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, join the friend army, and I'm just going to show you what happens if you're not care if you're not being careful. So, I'm just going to stick right here for a moment, or go out here for a little bit. Ah, damn it! That's what happens. So yeah, this is where you need to be careful. But anyway, once again, I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe, join friend army. I hope to see you on the next video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a video and find a save station. Goodbye. Where the fuck's the end recording button?